It's an early morning in Kajaki, Afghanistan. A platoon of Marines with 1st Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment are awakened by the sound of mortars impacting their position near the Helmand River. Patrol base, Georgetown. Without time to fully dress, the Marines rush outside to engage the enemy. Everybody throws gear on, runs out. We get our positions established and uh, squad leaders take control. It like, gets you out of nowhere. I'm in a sleeping bag still. So, all of a sudden, you hear the flare going off, RPG, and then fires just start going off. Just to the northwest of us, across the Hellman River, they have a, a ridge line up there, and there's caves in the ridge line that they'll crawl into, and they engage us from there. forward unit in the green zone of from five white house front battalion so with us here we lock down the green zone on this side idf and then 30 mic mics hitting it just got, just got really bad at it real quick. Tree! Hit the tree! Uh, when we started going to Winchester, started losing ammo. By the time, like, up to a couple hours, we were like, probably had a hundred still left for a 50 cal and that was it. Reloading! Hey, good shot right here! Get in, get in! IDF, 30 millimeter grenades hitting inside the compound, getting close, real close. I mean, took a casualty, uh, took a couple casualties. You, know, you hear about people being battle tested. This one tested the boys. Yeah. We're still taking indirect, we're still taking small arms. We have to get him on the bird as fast as possible. The bird it's the only place. We have to be fast. Alright? Been one hell of a day, I mean. You're thinking, yeah, regular patrol, any other day, it ain't happening that way. I mean, I definitely teach a lot of people, like, everyone's got to be ready from now on. I mean, you never know what's going to happen from now on. We lost one person, injuries. I mean, who knows what's going to happen next. We still got some time left. Another day, man. Another day. Well, I mean, hopefully whoever sees this will actually notice what actually happens. I mean, at the end of the day, we're the ones out here fighting this fight and then just breaking hearts sometimes.